What's good, everybody? Welcome to the Pull Up Show. My name is BJ Matthews, aka B. Just before we get started, follow us on the YouTube page, the Pull Up Basketball Podcast. Like, share, subscribe. All of our YouTube videos by hitting that notification bell by subscribe button. As well, if they like, donate to the Pull Up Basketball Podcast, you can do so by going to our Cash App, dollar sign BJ Matthews, or on our YouTube page where the line that says like, dislike, share. That same line, you can scroll to the left and you'll see where it says thanks, and you can do it that way as well. So let's get it popping. All right, man. So up for an early morning, uh, another, you know what I'm saying, video. I wanted to kind of, you know, put this in y'all heads, man, what y'all think about this. You know, everything's been sur- uh, surrounding this whole Kyrie Irving situation, but no one has really touched on what Kyrie Irving is going to do next. What do you think is going to happen to Kyrie Irving next? Is he going to, you know, continue playing for the Brooklyn Nets? Do you think he's going to stay in the NBA? Um, is he going to be pushed out the league? Uh, vice versa, X, Y, and Z. I think it's very important to talk about because right now, Kyrie Irving, this is in a situation where, in a very delicate situation, and it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Now, for me personally, Kyrie Irving has the mo- he has all the money in the world to you know what I'm saying just you know have take his you know money and just retire. That's what he has to do. He has all the money, generational, not even generational, but just wealth. Period. Right. Um. I thought about a situation. I thought about, you know, a soliloquy of what I think Kyrie Irving could possibly do. And I think what he should do. Right. Just for him, his family, um, his mental peace, um, all that. I think people are asking, what do I think Kyrie Irving is going to do? I think going overseas and playing basketball, taking the Stephon Marbury route would be an option for Kyrie Irving, a very valuable option. I don't know if Kyrie's thinking about this. I don't know if people are thinking about this, but Kyrie Irving is 30 years old. Um, This season, he's been actually playing at a high level. He's averaging 29 points a game, um, I think off of close to 50% shooting. Um, You guys know Kyrie Irving uh, is 50-40-90 club, shoot 50% from the field, 40% from the three, 90% from the free throw. Obviously, it's not his game. Again, like I keep telling people, it's not his game. That's the problem. It's the stuff that comes with it. Why people are a little bit, you know, taken back. So he's in a situation right now um, where, you know, they met with the uh, he met with the commissioner yesterday that basically, you know, they had a good meeting about, you know, the situation has been happening. I don't know what was actually said in that meeting and it's not going to be put out what was said, but they had a, you know, good meeting according to reports. Um. And Kyrie Irving put a post out yesterday, actually, I think about a, month, a minute post, a minute 30 post on his uh, his Instagram, um, talking about, you know, how it's time for the new generation to step up. It's too, time for the new generation to, you know, not be afraid. You know what I'm saying? Things are changing now uh, amongst our very eyes. A whole bunch of things y'all can look up. Um, he put out, it's like a minute 30 post. Um, and so I don't know if that came before or after the meeting. I'm pretty sure it came after. Um, but I just think Kyrie Irving still wants to play basketball. Uh, he could still play at a high level. Why not go overseas and actually experience something different and get away from the same NBA who I think you've overstayed your welcome. I'm pretty sure it's safe to say he's overstayed his welcome with a lot of teams are turned off. Anytime you have the talent to do something and play at a high level and teams are still kind of resilient to touch you, you're close to, you know, burning a lot of bridges and i just don't think it's worth it for Kyrie. he has to do that anymore he has a championship he has all the money he needs um he's the type of person that you know seems to like to travel and seems like to you know i'm saying explore different things if it's okay with of course his wife and his his daughter and his family because you know it's not going to just be him if they do this that they should take that step to move away and you know spend time overseas i would be i would be interested to see how that works now, Stephon Marbury did the same thing. He was somewhat pushed out the NBA. Well, not even pushed. He just decided to leave. And he went over to China because, you know, Stephon Marbury, you know, the whole knock on him. He was very hard to coach. He's hard to deal with, hard teammate to play with. That was the whole knock on Stephon Marbury. He goes overseas to China, I think, wins four uh, championships over there. Um, he's treated like royalty over there. He has a statue over there. And he's living his best life and not really – having a you know desire to come back and live here a lot of overseas players do that like overseas when you're overseas you get treated as an american black person most of the times you're better than the united states because 
they look at you as royalty. They look at you as something that's a commodity. You know, they don't they don't take advantage of your your talents and your gifts. They appreciate them. And if I'm Kyrie Irving, I'm looking at that like, okay, well, if you want to be in a, a, a place where you have a peaceful environment, safe environment, um, a place that you think mentally is good for your headspace, look at Stephon Marbury, what he did, and how <laughs> the NBA players are going over there to play basketball. Dwight Howard is going to Taiwan to play basketball. Uh, you have guys like Jimmy Fredette who went overseas. You had guys like um, all these NBA players who basically – either don't want to play in the NBA no more or don't get a job anymore, just go overseas and actually earn your living. You can still earn a really good living overseas. You can still, you're going to get paid um, still a few millions. I mean, you don't, what do you, you still have your, still have your shoe company. Of course, they have that whole thing and situation where they suspended his, his, com his company right now, his, uh, his contract, but I'm pretty sure he'll get endorsements or he'll get that contract back, right? So, my thing is, if I'm Kyrie Irving, you've always said you're welcome in the NBA. It's pretty safe to say. You still have the talent to play basketball. You still have the de desire to play basketball. I don't think he's just going to flat out retire. Why not try something new and get a new, different headspace? That's just my opinion. Take the take the Stephon Marbury route. But what y'all think, man? Do y'all think Kyrie Irving is going to stay in the NBA? Do y'all think he's going to leave? Do y'all think he's going to get blackballed? Do you guys think that? Uh, if he's going to get pushed out the league, do you think he can, it's a chance for him to go overseas? I want to hear from y'all. You know what I'm saying? Pull up a seat, pull up a chair, pull up a lot of peace. I hear like